Hey, we got ourselves a phone call for our next segment. Uh, let me get him on the air. We're going to go here and here. go to team member. Johnny, are you with us? I am here. Hey, I did it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I just put a phone call on the All air. Right. We are here for the Fishing Report with Johnny Rods. Johnny, you're the first one I've ever done successfully. Normally, I hang up on people. <laughs> I, feel, I feel blessed. You are blessed, my friend. Um, hey, what's going on in fishing? It's been a long time since we talked to you. Things changing out there? Different fish? Different different stuff? Uh, no, it's just it's slow in forming. These darn weather fronts keep keeping things cold. So, And I'm mostly talking about the saltwater scene. The freshwater scene has been great. Trout, bass, local... Up in Irvine Lake and well, yeah, any other lake too. There's some lakes uh, out uh, north of us, Castaic and Casitas, or Trophy Bass Lakes, and they've been putting out some fish. Oh wow, those are the ones that right before you go over the grapevine that you see, right? Yep, that's that big old dam you see there by Matt, uh, kind of near Magic Mountain. Uh, basically, are all lakes? I mean, are you fishing for the same fish in a le- in a freshwater lake, no matter where the lake is? Ask me that question again. <laughs> no matter no matter which lake down here, are you basically fishing for the same type of fish? Uh, if, if if the lake around here has any aqueduct feeder, if it's a you know part of the aqueduct system, they're most likely going to have striped bass in them. And there are lakes too around here that don't have any striped bass in them. So, but beyond that, mm, kind of yeah, trout, bass, crappie, mm-hmm. catfish. So- uh, What's going on in the ocean when things get cold? What happens to the fish? They leave? They go down to Mexico? Yeah, w- wouldn't you? Yes, I would, as a matter of fact. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's just, it's all about water temperature, you know, and bait. You know, you got to have the bait around, too. But I guess right now, if people aren't having an easy time getting the squid. Live squid's probably the number one bait around here. Um, and they're not getting, you know, they're not the bait. There's bait receivers right outside the rock, right up, uh, right up the marina. Right. Right outside the marina. So yeah, I've seen them. You, you, you gotta actually take your boat out there, and it's like a floating bait shop. Yep, and you just get a scoop of squid, and you run over to scoop Catalina or Clemente or one of the outer islands, and you fish live squid. Or you can go make your own squid over there. Go over to the islands at night, drop a light down. The squid are attracted to the light. You net up underneath them, and you make your own, you make your own bait. Wow. We actually Calamari. We shad in the freshwater lakes, too. Um, you kind of... Who's Chad? Shad up against the oh. shoreline, and you put some nets so they can't escape either way, and they run right into the net. Is that for bait later? Yeah, and they are just—it's crazy. We a uh, little story. We fished uh, up at that lake we were just talking about up there by the grapevine a few years back, and me and my buddy had live shad, and we were fishing amongst other bass fishermen that were um, in a tournament. You know, in a tournament, bass fishermen can't use bait. They got to use lures only, right? Right. So we're fishing right next to these guys that are in a tournament. And me and my buddy probably reeled in 40, I'm not kidding, 40 bass in about an hour and a half. They didn't even catch one. Oh, my God. That must have looked great on ESPN. Well, I mean, these are guys that, you know, know how to bass fish. That's the difference between what they eat and what you're trying to fool them with. <laughs> yeah. Great. Great times. But, yeah, man, you know what? It's just slow right now. It's slow. We have, Every spring there's a, there's a yellowtail bite that just kind of goes off and, you know, kind of signals everyone, all right, it's game on. Hasn't happened yet. It usually happens in San Diego. It just hasn't happened yet, you know? So if you were going to tell people right now who wanted to get out uh, this weekend and fish, where would they go and what would they fish for and what bait would they use? Okay, I'm a little biased right now because I like to surface fish. I like catching fish that live in, or hang out in the upper, I don't know, 50 feet of the water column. The right now there's some outstanding rock fishing. You can go out on these boats and drop down your sinker 200 feet, 300 feet, and catch all sorts of red rockfish, rock cod, ling cod. I would do that, but... Uh, Good eating? Outstanding. Like, have you ever had ling cod from the um, supermarket? They sell it a lot. I don't, I don't know if I have, to tell you uh, the truth. Is it a white fish? Uh, no, it's not a white fish. It's a... It, God, it's really hard. It's almost like a... Uh, Can I a dip it in soy sauce? Can I dip fish, it in soy sauce? Uh, and wasabi. Uh-huh. Johnny, any closing words for the people listening? Tight lines. Watch that line. Tight lines. And Watch what, Frank? What's line. your What's your favorite uh, quote from John? Don't Don't cheat the trout. Don't cheat the don't trout. Don't cheat the trout. <laughs> don't eat the trout. Don't, don't cheat, cheat the it. trout. Don't cheat the trout. When did I say that? You <laughs> said, I don't know. You said <laughs> it like two months ago, and Frank Johnny. can never forget it. Was I partying the night before? before? Probably. Probably. It's a Saturday. When aren't you? Doesn't even sound right. Don't cheat the trout. Are you sure I said that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I got it. Must have been another Johnny Rocks. 
You can go to your fishing report on keepingitre.com and find it. It's on there. YouTube us. I dark dived, huh? That's it. <laughs> you guys have this on record. Uh, we have it on record. Don't cheat the trout from Johnny Rods. Outstanding. Outstanding. <laughs> Johnny, we appreciate it. Have a great weekend. I'll talk to you later. Adios, y'all. Adios. See, maybe, maybe it was don't jump the trout, was it? No, it was don't cheat the trout. Hey, I did a phone call. Next segment. Evan, if you're listening, you'll be very proud of me. You, you want to shut the phone off now? I did a and phone and call. And at the I same time, embarrassed. Call. Thanks. Well, <laughs> I needed us. Scott to tell me to turn off the phone. Hey, it's just a team in case. Effort. Can you imagine it's if Johnny's in the background talking? Blah, 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 we got him on air because I didn't hit the off He's button. like, when the hell did I say don't cheat the trout? <laughs> exactly. I don't remember saying don't. What kind of an idiot says don't cheat the trout? <laughs>